tell you, it wasn't a pretty match, but it was a tough match. One of those, uh, one of those games, I suppose, were very courageous from both sides. Um, some very good attackers out there. If you look right across the board, um, you know, Lockyer, Thurston, very good centre pair in Hodges and Inglis. Um, it really put us under pressure uh, really early, but um, you know the boys stuck in deep. You know, going at ten six uh, at half time, I suppose, just an indication of how tough a battle it was out there. I asked Stephen about that. You wouldn't be too disappointed with that score. No, not at all. You know, like um, they had a, a mountain a line share of the football. Um, and unfortunately for us, you know, we came back in the second half and we, you know, I'd be pretty surprised if we didn't complete more than 50%. So um, to, to, to hang in there for as long as we can just shows that um, there's something special within this football yeah. side. Two things, popped up the ball, field position. It sort of seals your fate, didn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know. Some, um, you call it a moral victory, really. Uh, you know, two big errors and led to two tries in the second half and uh, all but those, you know, they never really looked like scoring. So... Uh, is it, again, we can get a lot better than, than what we show tonight. Yeah. I know we don't talk about risk very much, but two penalties in a match, and you've got them both. <laughs> but I thought the game uh, they allowed to go into flow, and, and there were good players out there, so they made the most of it. Yeah, look, I, I, don't, I think there was more than two penalties in it personally, but um, maybe you wanted to be the first referee to go um, the whole distance without giving one away. But uh, I don't know, that's what you get. It is an international game. It's a little bit different than what the boys are used to. They, used to um, playing under a two um, referee system at the moment but um, you know two penalties a game It's uh, I, I think we can get a little bit better than that yeah, yeah. Losing the front row first up is tough also, Sam Rapira first in the first tackle First carry of the football, yeah. that's right, dislocated his thumb and um, very doubtful for this weekend's game uh, against the Gold Coast, so games I suppose are very courageous from both sides um, some very good attackers out there if you look right across the board. Um, you know, Lockyer Thurston, very good centre pair in Hodges and Inglis. Um, it really put us under pressure uh, really early, but um, you know, the boys stuck in deep. You know, and going at 10 6 uh, at half time, I suppose, just an indication of how tough a battle it was out there. I asked Stephen about that. You wouldn't be too disappointed with that score. No, not at all. You know, like um, they had a, a mountain a line share of the football. Um, and unfortunately for us, you know, we came back in the second half and we, you know, I'd be pretty surprised if we didn't complete more than 50%. So um, to, to, to hang in there for as long as we can just shows that um, there's something special within this football yeah. side. Two things, popped up the ball, field position. It sort of sealed your fate, didn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know. Some, um, you call it a moral victory, really. Uh, you know, two big errors and led to two tries in the second half and uh, all but those, you know, they never really looked like scoring. So... Uh, is it, again, we can get a lot better than, than what we show tonight. Yeah. I know we don't talk about risk very much, but two penalties in a match, and you've got them both. <laughs> but I thought the game uh, allowed to go into flow, and, and there were good players out there, so they made the most of it. Yeah, look, I, I, don't, I think there was more than two penalties in it personally, but um, maybe you wanted to be the first referee to go um, the whole distance without giving one away. But uh, I don't know, that's what you get. It is an international game. It's a little bit different than what the boys are used to. They, used to um, playing under a two um, referee system at the moment but um, you know two penalties a game It's uh, I, I think we can get a little bit better than that yeah, yeah. Losing the front row first up is tough also, Sam Rapira first in the first tackle First carry of the football, yeah. that's right, dislocated his thumb and um, very doubtful for this weekend's game uh, against the Gold Coast so he's a tough kid wanted to go back on um, but looks like he may have a fracture in there too so we just wanted to make sure we're looking after him yeah. I thought Darren Lockyer's kicking game really really kept the pressure on you guys tonight. It was a pretty a pretty clever kicking game you come up. Oh look I was watching the game um, obviously from the sideline with with my earpiece in and uh, you know they they're just consistent. Uh, and I suppose if we were to learn something there, you know our kickers really have to dominate um, as well as uh, the Lockies and the Thurston. So you know we we we'll reflect on the game of course and, and do some reviews with, with Stephen I'm, I'm sure of it and one of the one of the areas that I think we'll um, I suppose look we'll look to improve is our kicking game. Yeah. I thought we spoke about Lockie in the Australian team, but I thought Simon Mannering, he worked all night, great cover defending tackle over there. And one thing that doesn't go unnoticed is he, he, he gains metres every time he gets the ball, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he does. You know, and he's a, you know, he started off in the centre and ended up in the middle of the ruck tonight, so um, he's probably one of the most consistent players to play in the black jersey, Simon. You can throw him anywhere on the football field, he ain't going to let you down. Uh, and, and he got through a mountain of work tonight too. You know, we lose, lo, uh, lost Sammy Raps early on, and, and of course our rotations had to 
um, I, I suppose turn over a lot quicker than we had to because we lost the front row. Um, but you know the boys dug deep. You know Benny Mazzolino, he, he 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 too got through a, well. a mountain mountain of work, found his front. And I thought Lewis Brown, you know his first test, um, he's up against probably the two best centers in the world, uh, and he he didn't look out of place at all. It was just a ten minute period there in the second half when you just felt if you could have got a bit of field position, you, you could have nailed him. Still only ten six, but. Ten minutes, four drop balls, and it really cost him. Oh, it did. It, it, it cost us the game. Um, we spoke about it after the game, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, I suppose, another year. Or... I thought Darren Lockie's kicking game really, really kept the pressure on you guys tonight. It was a pretty a pretty clever kicking game he'd come up. Oh, look, I was watching the game, um, obviously from the sideline with, with my earpiece in, and, uh, you know, they, they're just consistent. Uh, I suppose if we were to learn something there, you know, our kickers really have to dominate um, as well as uh, the Lockies and the Thurston. So, you know, we, we will reflect on the game, of course, and, and do some reviews with, with Stephen, I'm, I'm sure of it. And one of the one of the areas that I think we'll, um, I suppose, look, we'll look to improve is our kicking game. I thought, we spoke about Lockie and the Australian team, but I thought Simon Mannering, he worked all night, great cover defending tackle over there. And one thing that doesn't go unnoticed is he, he, he gains metres every time he gets the ball, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he does. You know, and he's a, you know, he started off in the centre and ended up in the middle of the ruck tonight. So um, he's probably one of the most consistent players to play in the black jersey, Simon. You can throw him anywhere on the football field and he ain't going to let you down. Uh, and, and he got through a mountain of work tonight too. You know, we lose, lo- uh, lost Sammy Raps early on and, and, of course, our rotations had to, um, I, I suppose, turn over a lot quicker than we had to because we lost the front row. Um, but you know the boys dug deep. You know Benny Mazzolino, he, he 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 too got through a, a mountain mountain of work, found his front. And I thought Lewis Brown, you know his first test, um, he's up against probably the two best centers in the world, uh, and he he didn't look out of place at all. It was just a ten minute period there in the second half when you just felt if you could have got a bit of field position, you, you could have nailed him. It was still only ten six, but. Ten minutes, four drop balls, and it really cost him. Oh, it did. It, it, it cost us the game. Um, we spoke about it after the game, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, I suppose, another year or 14 years without winning an Anzac test. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we're taking small steps, and hopefully we can get there eventually. Yeah. Well, uh, as the score goes, you've got another game, I think it's in Newcastle, to yep. go. Uh, the, the Four Nations is coming up, so... You're going to have plenty of chance to have a go at them. Oh, that's right. We'll go around again in Europe this year. Um, of course, you know, they've, they've, you know Tim Sheens has made it uh, quite obvious that he's got some um, some expectations out of his Australian side. They, they set the, the tone, I suppose, for the end of the year. So oh, we're looking forward to coming back to Newcastle. And, of course, we're looking forward to going up to Europe. 14 years without winning an Anzac test. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we're taking small steps and hopefully we can get there eventually. Yeah. Well, uh, as the score goes, you've got another game, I think it's in Newcastle. Here yeah. go. Uh, the, the Four Nations is coming up, so you're going to have plenty of chance to have a go at them. Oh, that's right. We'll go around again in Europe this year. Um, of course, you know, they've, they've, you know Tim Sheens has made it uh, quite obvious that he's got some um, some expectations out of his Australian side. And they, they set the, the tone, I suppose, for the end of the year. So oh, we're looking forward to coming back to Newcastle, and of course we're looking forward to going up to Europe. Yeah. Still plenty of effort in the Kiwi side tonight, don't you? Oh, look, you can't. It's one thing you can't... Um, I suppose uh, misplaced as far as you know how, how deep they did um, dig tonight. Four Nations is coming up, so you're going to have plenty of chance to have a go at them. Oh, that's right. We'll go around again in Europe this year. Um, of course, you know they've, they've, you know Tim Sheens has made it uh, quite obvious that he's got some um, some expectations out of his Australian side. And they they set the, the tone, I suppose, for the end of the year. So, oh, we're looking forward to coming back to Newcastle, and of course we're looking forward to going up to Europe. Yeah.